everybody, party people, welcome back to a new episode of Fangirl Talk hosted by me, Allie. In today's episode of the podcast, I'm talking with Alex about season one, episode one of Julie and the Phantoms. We also talk about episode one theories and even High School Musical, the musical, the series, the holiday special. So stay tuned to hear us discuss. Okay, so I think we should just get started with the episode. Okay. With the opening scene. I want to start with that one. Because I had watched, like, I started watching it because of TikTok, right? So I had a bunch, I had a bunch of TikTok saved because I was like, oh, I'm going to watch this, but like, I don't want to get spoiled. So I saved it and then I went about my day. But my For You page was literally all Julie and the Phantom. So I was like, well, I'm not going to keep getting spoiled. So I was like, I'm just going to watch it. So I did get spoiled a little bit, but I didn't really get spoiled about everything so i was like i'm okay so like rose people were like oh she's julie's mom right and i was like oh okay so i went in kind of knowing who like rose julie's mom was but i didn't know who she was gonna be so when i saw her like after in the opening scene i was like is that oh my god i was like that's julie's mom and it's so funny watching videos now and people don't realize that's her until like the very end. They were like, oh, was that her mom? I was like, yes. Yeah, so Rose, I want to talk about Rose because I was like in shock when I was like, when I found out that she was her mom. So again, I watched it and I kind of knew who she was, but I didn't know that was her. Yeah, me either. And then when they were playing at the Orpheum, like when they went outside, did you realize when Reggie gave them the shirt? And they were fangirling over him? Yeah. Yeah, so they were, like, literally going to be huge stars. Yeah. And I was so upset. Like, I got so emotional. because like, dude, they were going to be huge. And then, <coughs> straight dogs. Um. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then I saw a TikTok. Of, I took pictures because I was like, I can't play it while I'm recording. So, this is what it says. So we all know that Luke was homeless and living in the studio for months before he died. Odds are he didn't have access to food all the time. Of course, the boys would um, recognize this and bring him some food and lend him money. But Luke wouldn't have wanted to feel that way. Like he was taking advantage of them. So he would probably he probably wouldn't accepted it. And he definitely wouldn't have asked for it. So it got so it got me thinking of how often he was actually eating on the night they died. Luke told them he should go get that they should go get street dogs. He conveniently chose an option that wouldn't require much money when they aren't when they are then eating um said street dogs, they all recognize the taste was off, but Luke just dives back in and takes another bite. In this moment of hesitation, he probably was contemplating whether he should stop eating it, but decided against it after all he was hungry and might have not eaten for the past few days and then in the fridge scene julie catches him looking long longingly into the fridge and he says just wanted to see what you got thinking of the last time that he saw a fridge full of food he wouldn't have wanted to do to be a burden or eat any of the guy's food so he wouldn't see so oh my god i can't speak <laughs> so he would have tortured himself oh my god where am i <laughs> So he would have tortured himself by looking. This poor boy probably wasn't eating more than one meal a day, if that, and there was no way it was nutritious. How would Julie's kitchen have made him feel? She had full meals ready for her in the fridge, and she could just go in and make a sandwich whenever she wanted to. And then the most obvious scene was when they were all excited to eat the real food that couldn't kill them, but Luke's actions are different. Alex and Reggie start eating one thing at a time and Luke grabs as much as he can and takes a bite of everything he could before he died. And then 25 years later, how long do you guys think it would have been since he had a burger or that wasn't from the drive through or pizza that he didn't have to worry about only eating a slice or two because he had to share with the boys and meatballs are not something commonly made outside of a household, which explains his reaction to the sub. He had and eaten anything real in overall that he could have and he couldn't have been more excited to see all the food. And I'm like I literally started crying when I saw that. Like that was so long, but you know the video is much better. But bro, 
That shit hurt me. I'm like, that's so fucking. <laughs> What do, what do, what do, I just want to know if the person freaking thought of that is okay. Like, holy crap. I, I, I know, I felt so bad. I was like, not you making me cry over something I didn't even think about. Uh-huh. You gonna make me cry. That's not cool, bro. I know, I'm sorry. But I was like, oh no. So anyways. I'm just gonna need three to five business days to process that. In the comments so people anyways. No, in the comments people were like, Well maybe he feels like guilty, like, you know, because they died of that. What if he feels oh. guilty? They're like, Oh I killed them. <laughs> well I, I killed didn't know I- this was the emo hour oh. show. <laughs> anyways, <laughs> So let's talk about something else before I start crying again. So, now from the opening scene. Let's <laughs> like... <laughs> sorry. That was just funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> opening scene. What's up? Yeah. So they were going to be stars. And then Rose knew that their connection. Well, hold on. Somebody said, okay, well, we all know the first scene when Sunset Curve meets Julie's mom. Well, afterwards, Luke says, it's what the girl in there said, that they have a connection. He said, I want to feel that with everybody, right? So maybe their connection to Julie is through the connection that he felt with Rose and somehow it transferred to her. Something like that. That's a little creepy. Yeah. Think about it. But... But but it makes some sense, cause honestly, I don't know what their unfinished business is. We need a season two to find out. Mm-hmm. Anyways. Well, I don't want them to. Well, I don't know. Now I don't know if they're gonna. If I they just finish. I want Netflix to do something. I know. The show's been out since so, September. The show. Thank you. <laughs> That's the word. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> The show's been out since September. Yeah. What is it? It's not like Netflix is busy or anything. They are releasing so many shows. Renewing oh, so many really? shows. And nothing about Julie and the Phantom. Mm-hmm. Like they were they did that like prom virtual event thing the other night and like Netflix was in the chat and so many people were like saying renew day. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't even watched prom. I only wanted to watch it because they were promoting it, but I was like, I don't really. Yeah, care I haven't watched the prom either. Yeah, I was like, I'm. But like Charlie was Charlie and Owen were in the chat, and like Charlie kept spamming rainbows, and then like <laughs> at one point, like woot woot. Oh, I saw man. that t- on the TikTok. Yeah, I was like, this man. <laughs> this man, um, shit. Um, he showed up to the airport, like, where that girl met, in Ecuador, where that girl met him, with his, um, with, like, a duffel bag thing that was made by Bauer, which is a brand that makes, like, hockey stuff, Mm -hmm. primarily hockey sticks, and I still want to know, for my own purposes, what this man's NHL team, favorite NHL team is, so Mm -hmm. therefore I can decide whether or not I actually respect him, um, (laughs) It's a make or break question, Charles. It's a make or break question. Maybe if he listens to this, he'll respond. Maybe. Gotta be pretty lit. Mm-hmm. Did you see Savannah's live today? Yeah, she made... I saw part of it. I was, like... I was in the middle of something. Mm-hmm. When she was doing it, I logged on for a second, though. And, like, she was making a rainbow gingerbread house. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because it reminded her of Dirty Candy we stand. Yeah. It was cute. I just saw when she was fixing Luke's beanie. I love that. And then she started Reggie. (laughs) Yeah, so when Reggie, like, gives them the shirt and they start fangirling, they're like, Reggie, it's Reggie. I was like, ah. Like, how do people not recognize, like, now onto episode, what is it, eight, nine, whatever. How do people not recognize them? Somebody has to recognize them. On the internet. Especially with the YouTube video. Mm -hmm. Because, like, yeah. Because, like, yeah, no, I've seen so many people be like, oh, like, what the, if a YouTube video, like, really got, like, half a million hits, and, and however, I forget how much time they said it was, but it was a really, really short period mm-hmm. of time. Um, then, like, what's to say that, like, Luke's parents wouldn't have seen it at this point? Like, exactly. Okay, and then in 2020, 
I found, first of all, I found a mistake. And then also Nuke and Nuke. Nick. <laughs> Nick can play the guitar. So I saw a bunch of people saying that, like, now that he's, spoiler alert, now that he's in, like, Wow. Now that Caleb is in Nick, I feel like they would use him for like a number in like season two. In a moment of sheer nerdiness, Mm -hmm. um, the guitar that Nick plays in episode one is like, is a Gibson Les Paul. Um, and I've never seen that light blue color on one of those guitars before. Mm -hmm. And now I'm just low key like, Sasha, you want to tell me where you got that? (laughs) Cause please. Like, I could probably tell you the name of most of... I could probably tell you pretty much every guitar that was played in that show because I'm weird like that, but... Okay, so the mistake, I literally was like... Because I was going to do your episode and then Taylor's. So I just rewatched them. I was like, okay, I'll do both. So then I was watching it. And then in the beginning, when Carrie's, like, handing out the flyer things, she says that she's going to perform at the Spirit Rally tomorrow. Right? But in episode two, it's like tomorrow where episode one ends. And tomorrow doesn't happen. It's the next day when they perform Wow and Bright. I didn't even think of that. Now that you say that. Yeah. Yes. I was so confused. I was like, wait. I was like, isn't that today? And then like they went about their day. They went to the music teacher. She said no. We had a visitor. <sighs> Hi, Harry. <laughs> oh my god, eyes. <gasps> Said yes, ma'am, Madison. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my god, I can't. Oh my god, I'll, the fact that, like, <laughs> Madison saying Charlie not you speaking <laughs> will forever be, like, one of my favorite things. Uh, I love that interview. Well, I don't love that interview. I love those parts. Because the lady was so awkward. Yeah, so I found that mistake earlier. And I was like, wait. I was like, I gotta rewatch this. And I rewatched it. And then she says tomorrow. But it doesn't happen for another two days. (laughs) And I was like, okay. I'll carry. Yeah. (laughs) But that was funny. Um, Her pants. I'm still in love with her pants. Sorry, I must have conjured this out of thin air. I'm so sorry, what? but like literally, you know how I was ranting about how my Julie and the Phantoms like print hasn't gotten anywhere? Well, yes. the tracking finally just updated. <laughs> That's oh, freaky. You gotta manifest. <laughs> yes, I. Yeah, apparently. Okay, I'm done now. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm done. <laughs> Carrie's pants. No, Julie's pants. <laughs> Julie's pants. Yes, I like them too. <laughs> I feel like like she like she definitely DIY'd her pants. I'm pretty sure she did. There's like oh, there's an account called like J A T Pants. Yeah. 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 I love her pants. At the end, when she goes and looks for like all the instruments and stuff, and the in the loft, you see Reggie. Not Reggie's. <laughs> Alex's drumstick. Well, Reggie's guitar strap. Luke's guitar strap too. I think. Yeah, the guitar strap, or at least like a guitar case or something. Yeah, something remember. like that. But I saw those, and then what else? Oh, so then when they come back, like, to life, or they come back as ghosts, like, Luke, I saw this thing where it was, like, Luke has changed, like, the most clothes, because he had the most clothes in the loft, because he was, you know, he, like, ran away from home. Yeah. So that's why he's always, like, changing outfits. I'm (laughs) I'm shook. Yeah, and then, like, Reggie has, like, no clothes there, either. Alex, like, yeah. just has his sweater, his jacket, and then, like, his undershirt. Yeah, I swear, I'm, I low-key wanted one of, like, the champion hoodies, the, the Lightning champion hoodie, 
um, that he wears on the show, but, like, they don't, Urban Outfitters doesn't sell it anymore. Um, and I've been, like, seeing if anybody, like, happened to have one that they mm-hmm. were, like, selling on, like, um, Poshmark or whatever, but, like, the only ones I've seen are, like, extra smalls, and I'm just, like, this is not gonna fit into an extra small. Mm-hmm. Like, screw y'all. <laughs> but, yeah, it's all, it's like the pink, it's like the pink, he has the pink shirt, the pink sweatshirt, like, the jean jacket, and I feel like he's wearing the same joggers for most of the show, and yeah. so, like, he switches the suit pants and the stand tall. Mm-hmm. And that wasn't even their outfit. Like, yeah, the so. They wear. Yeah. They clean up nice. Anyways, <laughs> just being honest. Um, but it's facts. Yeah. Yup. I love when they're like looking at all the stuff and then it looks like my couch. I know. <laughs> He's so cute. I love that. The last thing I have is just wide awake. I'm mean, what? <laughs> Wake up. Yeah. Wide awake. <laughs> I love that. I saying Wake that. up, yes. Wake up. Her vocals, bro. That's when I knew I was going to keep watching the show. And the fact that she's, like, she, like, nailed that in, like, 16. Like, imagine giving her a couple years to allow, like, I don't know, her, allow her, like, a couple more years to practice singing more and, like, then... And fully, like, recognize what she can do with her voice. Yes. Yeah, Yeah, vocal range. That's what I was looking for. Like, to really, like, grow into her vocal range. Mm -hmm. And, like... mm. Yeah. Bro, that that reminds me, like, have you been watching any of, like, Paul Becker's YouTube videos, (gasps) the the behind-the-scenes stuff? Yes, but I haven't watched the goodbye because I'm not emotionally emotionally ready for that. Well, there's like a <laughs> moment in I think there there he's done a couple of like of the rap videos where it was like they did Jada's and mm-hmm. stuff like that, but then there was the one with the four of them that was like kind of chaotic. Um and like Owen like they all four of them like they each said a few words and Owen was like you need to hurry up and turn eighteen because this sucks I'm presuming because there might be a rule about how long you can minors are allowed to be working yeah I'm assuming that's why he's saying that but yeah her her in like a couple years at eighteen I'm sure she's she could be a powerhouse if she wanted mm-hmm. to. Yeah, well, I know for, like, the kids in Stranger Things, they can only work for a certain amount of hours because they have to do school. Like, that's yeah, a rule. That, that makes sense. Yeah. I was thinking child labor laws, but that makes more sense. That, too. But they have to do school if they're, un- like, yeah. underage. <laughs> that's why people are like, I hate working with kids because it's, like, a lot of extra work that they have to do. But, like, once you find yeah. the right person, like Madison, you can't not have her. Yeah, for sure. Bruh, it's, it's wild to think that, like, that, well, with the exception of Madison, of course, if the guys are, like, relatively close to, I think, both of us in age. Yes. It's, it's wild. Even when I found that out, I was shocked because, like, not to bash on anybody, but Riverdale is portraying these 16-year-olds when these people are, like, almost 30. I know, right? And, like, that's not even just Riverdale. I know a lot of shows that do that. Yeah, for sure. They play, like, teenagers, and these people are 20, 28, and I'm like, okay. Yeah, so, I think mm-hmm. I feel you. When I found out everybody was this young in the cast, I was like, I'm very surprised. And I like it. Same. Like, I just found out, like, last week that Sasha's 17. And I was like, mm. Yeah, same. Like, I, he was one of the last ones that, like, I didn't know how old he was. And when I found out he was mm-hmm. 17, I was like, dang, okay. And the fact that he can shred on the guitar, yes. like, that well at 17. <laughs> this past week, I've been loving Sasha even more because of Taylor. <laughs> yeah. I was, I was watching her lives, and she's like always talking about Sasha, and I'm like, yes. <laughs> How old is Taylor? 
17 to, I think. Okay, that yeah. makes sense then. I got you. Yeah, and I was like... <laughs> I was like, he's underage, so I can't. Yeah, it makes sense that she's 17, because mm-hmm. I was about to say, like, if she was, like, closer to, you know, <laughs> being legal, that, that mm-hmm. you, okay. Yeah. I know. What was that? Whenever she talks about him, I'm like, he's underage, I can't. <laughs> yeah, like, that, that's not my place. <laughs> um, uh, bro, have you seen the fan theory where people are, like, Oh, I have like mani- like I don't know if manifesting is the right word here, but like theorize that like <laughs> Nick's dads are like Chad and Ryan from High School Musical. That's been I all haven't over seen Tumblr. That? That's been all over Tumblr. I oh my sh- god! <laughs> not um like people have been people have been writing that as a fan theory, and I'm just like. <laughs> I'm, I don't know how to feel about this, Loki. No, I haven't seen that, but that's, like, kind of everything. <laughs> yeah, like, Nick Danforth Evans. Because, <laughs> obviously, honestly, we still don't have his last name. Last name. There's so many, like, really cool theories on it. Yeah. I have a bunch saved, because I'm probably going to do another episode with somebody... Because, again, I don't want to make her wait, <laughs> like, months for, like, us to do the episode, like, this week. Because she wanted to do it. I was like, um, can we, like, do it a different time? I was like, I have, like, a bunch saved, but, like, I'd rather have extras than, like, not have enough. Valid. Yeah. Better to be overprepared than underprepared. Mm-hmm. But then I was like, I don't want to make you wait that long either. So I was like, I'd rather, like, even if we do it, like, next month. Because it's not going to be out next month, you know? So it's like, even if we do yeah. it next month, that'll be less time for you waiting for the episode to come out. For sure. And then I'm probably going to have other episodes in between, but I want to get your episode out and then Taylor's. So I was like, theirs have to be next month because I'm not going to make it <laughs> wait. So I have yours at least will be up. And then I'll probably, I don't know, because I'm trying to remember if High School Musical was going to have season two coming. It's also- High School Musical, the series? Yeah. That's a mouthful, but yes, they are having a season two. Yeah, but I don't remember when it's coming out. Me neither. Because <laughs> I thought it was going to be, like, close to Christmas, because there was a Christmas episode, and then it was yeah. the holiday special, and I think people got that confused. Yeah. So I don't know when it's coming I out. I have, have not had the opportunity to watch it, mainly because I say I'm going to watch it, and then I just pro- end up, like watching Julian the Phantoms again but mm-hmm. yeah I watched it it was okay yeah my one friend said it was kind of weird I didn't even watch the full thing I was busy so I was like listening to it in the background I only watched Josh's perform like the full thing I watched Olivia's and then I was walking I was in and out of my room so I didn't even watch it like that until I came if back for Olivia watch- and I was like yes ma'am <laughs> we fan. I also love that Olivia Rodrigo is a Taylor Swift fan. Like, I think she's tweeted like jokingly calling Taylor Swift her mom a couple times, and I'm just like, love that. <laughs> I love that everybody was like, okay, I'm gonna like take a break from Julian Phantom, and then like go watch High School Musical the musical, the series for Josh, and I'm like. And there's been so many TikToks of people talking about Kenny's, like, projects and stuff, and they add High School Musical, the musical, the series, and everybody in the comments are like, that's not his. Yeah, true. It's funny. People are like, yeah, he didn't work on that, so. (laughs) Come on, people, get your stuff together. Anyways, so, that's everything that I have. If you have anything else you want to add. Netflix, if you ever happen to be listening to this, the new Julia and the Phantom for a season two, or you're going to be here, and, or I'm going to have words with you. And also, Charlie Gillespie, if you ever listen to this. Oh my um, god. If he d- tell me I'm this. sorry if you do. <laughs> yes. Primarily, I'm sorry for the chaos. Second of all, tell me who your favorite NHL team is. She's begging, please do. <laughs> yes. That'd be great, thanks. <laughs> Okay, I think we're good. This 
episode is sponsored by Anchor. It's a free app and website that has tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will also distribute your podcast to Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many other platforms. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need all in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. For this week's recommendation, I have to give it up to Miss Olivia Rodrigo and her new song, Driver's License. Please take a listen to it. It is an incredible song. Even if you haven't gone through a breakup or anything, like it is truly a great song. That's it for today's episode. If you like this podcast and want to hear more, subscribe anywhere you listen to your podcast. If you want to come talk to me about any shows or suggestions you want me to talk about, come over to my Instagram at Fangirl Talk Podcast or The Hundred News. You can also follow me on my fandom Twitter at Tazia's Lins. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and review on Apple Podcasts.